What's good, everybody? Yoshi McCloud here, back. <coughs> I'm dying with more Plants vs. Zombie. So, hopefully, we don't get any more pop ups in the bottom right corner. But what else do I want to take? I think. Do I want to. We'll grab potato mines. All right. So, I have made have attempted to make sure that we don't get any more of those annoying pop-ups in the corner we are on level 2-3 okay so being with being on level 2-3 we actually have access to a new offensive shroom which is the foom the fume shroom so i didn't take a look but we actually do have some new zombies we have to contend with those being the screen door zombies so the screen door zombies are actually uh <coughs> bit of a problem Thanks. mostly because the screen door zombies actually have a screen door that they use as a shield we'll actually see one hopefully shortly let me see let's wait until we get some more uh, stuff before we worry too much about the screen door zombies because we still have the slow trickle of, of zombies coming in I'm not stressing too much about getting them killed too fast because we got our usual build up lots and lots of sun strat going on. It's actually doing a lot for us. We're generating sun at a nice steady rate. Zambies aren't really becoming problems, which is good. Right. Soon we'll have enough of all this stuff and we'll have a good set of fume shrooms because that's actually something that i actually really want to get set up like our fume shroom line so what's happening right now is i'm just placing all of these puff shrooms down but i actually intend to take out this front line of them in a moment or two so plan is to dig out this front line and replace them all with fume shrooms. Because fume shrooms are actually gonna be very important in a little bit. We're actually generating money nice and quick, though. So, get a fume shroom here. And with fume shrooms, they actually shoot very far. Although, I don't think they stretch the entire map like the MP shooters used to. But they stretch far enough, and since they hit the screen door zombies, I actually probably could have put them in this back row. I didn't realize that. That's my fault, though. Hopefully, this won't matter. Actually, I could have just done... Yeah, no, I definitely could have placed them in the, in the back row. Like, almost 100%. Now our push rooms aren't even doing anything. Can I put one there? Yeah, no, it's still attacking. Yeah, that probably would have been a better setup. But that's fine. These things reload fast enough. I'll actually probably be able to replace most of our push rooms with the fume shroom. <coughs> I made a slight miscalculation here, but it won't punish me. Actually, be pretty fine. We only have one big wave coming in, so we'll actually be able to take this out very quickly. These puff shrooms should honestly just wipe this wave almost entirely. Yeah, nice and easy. Kind of a free one. Yes. 
Bloom and Doom Seed Co. Hey, wanna buy extra seed slot? It'll cost you 750, but you'll be able to select seven seeds per level instead of six. So sure, I shall totally do that. All right, hey, when you save up 5,000, I'll sell you the eight seed upgrade. So now, because of that, we actually get another seed slot. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab all the nighttime plants. The, whoa. My cherry bomb. I'll just grab potato mine just in case. All right, so the grave busters are actually super duper important. So we have these gravestones and when we hit like the big waves, these gravestones are actually problematic because zombies will spawn from them. So the idea is we can use the gravestones to clear these spots out of our backyard as well as give us more room to work with since we can't plant in those spots. I'm actually gonna place this mine here. The music of this game is so like just relaxing in my opinion. So we have two big waves this round. So we really want to set up our double mushroom line as quickly as possible. Yeah. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna get to the grave buster, get a um, we'll do a fume. Actually, I need to test how far the fume strings actually stretch. Goes far enough, actually. I'm actually okay with the distance we're getting there. So we are very slowly progressing through these waves, which I think is fine. I definitely need that guy to get taken out there. Just gonna slam you there, drop one of you, grab you. That walnut was kind of an emergency pop down. Just gonna throw that down. It really doesn't matter if that ever actually explodes or not. All right, cool. Got the last one of those I needed. We're really setting up really good here. Now, the thing with the Grave Busters, they can die before they do their job, so you have to be careful about that. One last Fume Shroom. A few more graves to bust. We're actually doing pretty good here. I don't really get that worried about grave busters, honestly. Alright, the mid wave is set up. For you here, so that these things can get ripped apart. Fume shrooms are really strong, so I'm not really too stressed out about this.
I'd probably argue we're completely fine at this point. Like, I don't think there's anything else to even worry about. It's if you are prepared for anything you're going to see, this, this game doesn't feel that hard. Because, like, at this point, our entire setup is just really good. I don't know if this is the optimal setup, but I think that's fine either way. <coughs> Money. Mm, that's not good. I'll replace you. Point, since these things are so short range in the first place, I might as well start upgrading everything to fume shrooms. Yes. final wave so my setup doesn't even matter at this point we just want to get one good cherry bomb off the Suburban Almanac. Keep track of all the plants and zombies you encounter. So now we can actually look at the plants we've encountered and look at the zombies. Obviously there's very there's um, many less zombies. Ever play a game called Lack of Zombie? It's just like hunting squirrels. You know those furry little rodents that dig holes in your lawn? Just instead of a shovel, it's a mallet. And instead of me, it's you. Now right, we're gonna play a game of whack a zombie. So, as with all the halfway points, we get like a little mini game. This one's pretty quick. This one's pretty relaxing because it's very straightforward and probably one of the easier minigames. Damn things out. Good. Okay. Doing pretty good. Unfortunately, there's no real strategy for me to talk about right now other than. I hit zombies with a mallet. <sighs> We're still a bit from this game starting to get actually difficult. We're 
pretty good. We only two, four, six, eight, ten tombstones up right now. Which, granted, it's probably really manageable to just never take out the tombstones. My man came out here, he was hustling. Make zombies fight for us with the Hypno Shroom. Now, Hypno Shroom, I don't actually care that much for. Yeah, we have a bunch of tombstones. Tombstones aren't really that pressing, honestly. So Hypno Shrooms are kind of another emergency shroom. But the problem is, I don't think they're as good as the other emergency shrooms. We only have one big wave this time around. So Hypno Shroom, the way they work is when zombies hit them, they actually will turn against the other zombies. too worried about the stage once again it's I think once we get back to daytime is when the levels start getting actually challenging and they take a bit more strategy but that's also a lot more because the zombie ways and the zombie tactics get much more relentless Mushrooms need to be planted, barring like a catastrophe. Shroom in a second. Football zombie. How dare you be here, football zombie? And huzzah! Football zombie has now been turned against the zombies. If you're gonna use hypno zombies, you do want to time them to make sure you're getting a high impact zombie. Alright, 
We're actually almost at the final wave. I just very much wanted that clear. Uh, the hobo zombie's not going down. There we go. There's the wall I'm out. Hobo zombies can be really scary just because of how fast they can run through like your entire team. Yeah, no, this should be done. Yeah. Scary Shroom. Long range shooters that hide when enemies get near. So, I'm actually gonna go back to the main menu. Because next episode, we're going to deal with episode 2-7. I'll check you guys out later. Peace.